Have you ever wondered if the universe and our consciousness are somehow interconnected? This question invites us to delve into the vastness of the observable universe, a cosmic expanse filled with a multitude of galaxies, stars, and celestial bodies, each with its own unique story. From the smallest particles to the grandest structures, the universe presents a complex web of mysteries awaiting exploration. Similarly, within the confines of our heads exists an intricate network of billions of neurons. This neural network, the human brain, is an enigmatic realm of thoughts, emotions, dreams, and consciousness. It is as vast and complex as the universe itself, with an estimated 100 billion neurons intricately interconnected. As we journey through the cosmos, we begin to notice a striking resemblance between the universe and the human brain. The cosmic web, a network of galaxies interlaced with dark matter, mirrors the complex neural networks in our brains. The patterns and structures that emerge in both domains are eerily similar. It's as if the same fundamental principles that govern the formation of galaxies and the vast cosmic web also guide the growth and development of our brains. This resemblance is not merely a coincidence, but could suggest a common architecture underlying both the cosmos and human consciousness. This idea, the common architecture of the universe and consciousness, sets the stage for an intriguing exploration. As we journey through this cosmic brain, we'll delve into the patterns of the universe, the complexities of the human brain, and the paradoxes of consciousness. We'll examine the implications and potential applications of these discoveries and contemplate the ethical considerations and responsibilities that come with such knowledge. This exploration is not merely an academic endeavor. It's a quest to understand our place in the cosmos, to unravel the mysteries of consciousness, and to seek answers to the most profound questions of existence. Now let's embark on this journey of unraveling the mysteries of the universe and consciousness. The universe is teeming with patterns from the cosmic web of galaxies to the mathematical principles that govern its structure. When we gaze into the night sky, we're not just looking at a scatter of stars, but a complex network of galaxies. This is what we call the cosmic web, a vast, intricate pattern of galaxies and dark matter that stretches across the universe. Just like a spider's web, the cosmic web is a testament to the universe's inherent knack for organization. It's a mind-boggling network of nodes and filaments where galaxies cluster together and dark matter weaves the threads that hold it all in place. This isn't a disorderly mess, but a meticulously arranged pattern. But how do we make sense of these patterns? That's where mathematics comes in. Mathematics is the language of the universe and patterns are its alphabet. One of the mathematical principles that help us understand these cosmic patterns is fractal geometry. Fractals are patterns that repeat at every scale. Look at a snowflake, a coastline, a tree branch, or a cloud, and you'll see fractals. The same principle applies to the cosmic web. Its structure is fractal-like, repeating its patterns at different scales. Another mathematical principle at play in the universe is the golden ratio. The golden ratio is a mathematical constant that appears time and again in nature, architecture, and art. It's a pattern of balance and harmony, and it's found everywhere, from the spiral of a galaxy to the shape of a hurricane. The universe seems to have a preference for this ratio, hinting at an inherent mathematical aesthetic in its design. But why are we, as humans, so good at spotting these patterns? The answer lies in our evolution. Recognizing patterns gave our ancestors a survival advantage. Spotting the tracks of a predator or the signs of edible plants could mean the difference between life and death. Over time, this skill evolved into a cognitive ability that allowed us to understand and navigate the world around us. We are a species of pattern seekers. We look for patterns in the stars, in the changing seasons, in the behavior of animals, and in the rhythm of our own lives. This ability to recognize and understand patterns is integral to our survival and development. It's what allows us to make sense of the universe and our place in it. But our fascination with patterns isn't just about survival. It's also about curiosity and wonder. We marvel at the spirals in a sunflower, the symmetry of a snowflake, the swirl of a galaxy. We find beauty in these patterns, a sense of order in the chaos. 
and in doing so, we connect with the universe in a profound way. And so, we come to see that the universe is not random. It's not a chaotic jumble of stars and galaxies. It's a vast, interconnected web of patterns and structures, meticulously woven together by the threads of dark matter and the principles of mathematics. It's a cosmic tapestry that tells the story of the universe from the birth of galaxies to the evolution of life. But the patterns don't stop at the cosmic scale. They echo down into the smallest particles, into the very fabric of reality. They are imprinted in the neural networks of our brain, in the fractal patterns of our thoughts and memories. They are embedded in the rhythm of our heartbeats, in the ebb and flow of our breath. They are woven into the fabric of life itself. So, the universe is not as random as it might seem, is it? It follows patterns, just like the human brain. From the vast cosmic web to the neural networks in our brain, the universe is a symphony of patterns, a dance of mathematical harmony. And we, as conscious beings, are an integral part of this cosmic dance, forever intertwined with the patterns of the universe. Inside our skulls, there exists a universe of its own, the human brain. This intricate organ, small yet incredibly vast in its capabilities, holds within it a complexity that is truly breathtaking. The human brain is a marvel of nature, a labyrinth of billions upon billions of interconnected neurons, each one a tiny universe unto itself. These neurons form a vast network, a web of connections that is as dense and complex as the cosmic web of galaxies and dark matter that spans the observable universe. Each neuron, like a galaxy, is a hub of activity, with electrical signals zipping back and forth, carrying the information that makes up our thoughts, memories, and perceptions. But where does this complexity come from? How did our brains evolve to become these intricate networks of neurons? This question has long fascinated scientists, and it was the focus of the research by Franco Vazza, an astrophysicist, and Alberto Folletti, a neurosurgeon. Vatsa and Folletti embarked on a unique interdisciplinary journey, seeking to uncover the quantitative similarities between the cosmic web and the neural networks in our brains. They examined the structure and connectivity of these networks using advanced mathematical models and cutting-edge imaging techniques. What they found was fascinating. Despite the vast differences in scale, with the cosmic web stretching across billions of light years and neural networks spanning mere centimeters, there were striking similarities in their structure. Both networks are characterized by a relatively small number of densely connected hubs, surrounded by a series of less connected nodes. The patterns of connectivity, the way these hubs and nodes are linked, are remarkably similar in both the cosmic web and neural networks. This led Vaza and Folletti to propose the concept of a common architecture, a fundamental structure that underlies both the universe and the human brain. This doesn't mean that the universe is a giant brain or that our brains are miniature universes, but rather that they may share a common blueprint, a shared pattern of organization. This idea of a common architecture is both intriguing and perplexing. It suggests that there might be a fundamental principle, a universal law of sorts, that governs the formation of complex networks. Whether they are in the vast expanses of space or within the confines of our skulls, but what does this mean for us? How does this common architecture affect our understanding of the universe and our place within it? Does it change how we perceive ourselves and our minds? Intriguingly, we find a common architecture in the universe and in our brains. But what does this mean for us? These are questions that we are only just beginning to explore. The answers are likely to be as complex and intricate as the networks we are studying. But one thing is certain, as we continue to unravel the mysteries of the universe and the human brain, we are sure to uncover more fascinating connections, more echoes of the cosmic web within our own minds. And in doing so, we may come to see ourselves not as separate from the universe, but as an integral part of it. Our minds are microcosm of the cosmic macrocosm. The parallels between the universe and the brain have far-reaching implications from AI to philosophy. First, let's dive into the field of artificial intelligence and machine learning. 
The striking similarities between the cosmic web and neural networks could provide profound insights for developing advanced AI systems. If we can model artificial neural networks on the intricate, efficient systems found in the brain and the cosmos, we could potentially create AI that learns and adapts in a way that mirrors human cognition. Imagine artificial intelligence that can not only calculate and analyze at superhuman speeds, but also adapt, reason, and even create like a human brain. However, this brave new frontier is not without its risks. As we enhance the capabilities of AI, we must also grapple with ethical questions about their autonomy and the potential consequences of machines that can think for themselves. Beyond AI, the parallels between the universe and the human brain also have deep philosophical implications. The idea of a universal architecture might lead us to question the nature of free will and determinism. If the structures of the universe and our brains are so fundamentally similar, does this suggest a predetermined pattern to our thoughts and actions, echoing the laws that govern the cosmos? Or can we still assert free will in the face of such a universal blueprint? Moreover, this concept challenges our perception of reality itself. If our brains, the very tools we use to perceive and understand the world, share a common architecture with the universe, this could imply that our perception of reality is not an objective truth, but a subjective construct shaped by this shared design. The intersection of cosmology and neuroscience also paves the way for exciting interdisciplinary research. Traditionally, scientific fields have operated in silos, but the shared patterns found in the cosmos and the brain highlight the potential for groundbreaking discoveries through collaboration. Physicists and neuroscientists, for instance, could work together to further explore the commonalities between the cosmic web and neural networks. Mathematicians and biologists could join forces to better understand the fractal patterns found in nature and the universe. Such interdisciplinary collaborations could lead to innovations that transcend individual fields. We might develop new mathematical models to predict neural activity or novel neuroimaging techniques inspired by astronomical methods. In turn, these advancements could also feed back into fields like AI, leading to even more sophisticated systems. However, venturing into these uncharted territories requires not only collaboration, but also a willingness to question and revise our existing models of the universe and consciousness. As we uncover more about the shared architecture of the cosmos and the brain, we may need to rethink our theories and assumptions in light of this new perspective. Indeed, the parallels between the universe and the brain remind us of the interconnectedness of all things. They show us that the same patterns echo from the vast cosmos to the intricate networks of our brains, suggesting a fundamental unity underlying the diversity of existence. This perspective not only broadens our understanding of the universe and consciousness, but also invites us to reflect on our place within this grand scheme. In conclusion, the implications and applications of the shared architecture between the universe and the brain are as vast and complex as the cosmic web and neural networks themselves. They span from practical advancements in AI to profound philosophical questions about free will, determinism, and the nature of reality. They also underscore the potential for interdisciplinary research and innovation, inviting scientists to cross traditional boundaries and collaborate in pursuit of a deeper understanding of the cosmos and consciousness. As we make new discoveries, we are compelled to reevaluate our understanding of reality and our place in it. Consciousness, a phenomena as mysterious as the universe itself, is not without its paradoxes. Our journey into the cosmic brain now takes a twist into the enigmatic realm of paradoxes that consciousness presents. One such paradox is the Boltzmann brain paradox. Named after Ludwig Boltzmann, a physicist who made significant contributions to the field of statistical mechanics, this paradox grapples with the idea of a self-aware brain spontaneously forming in an infinite universe. Imagine a universe so vast and so old that every possible arrangement of particles could occur, given enough time. In such a universe, it's statistically possible for a fully formed, self-aware brain to materialize out of the chaos, complete with memories of a life never lived. 
This Boltzmann brain, as it's known, would believe itself to be real, with a history, a family, and a world that are all illusions. This paradox raises profound questions about the nature of reality and consciousness. If our universe is indeed infinite, are we absolutely certain that we are not Boltzmann brains, hallucinating our reality? The implications are staggering, shaking the very foundations of what we consider to be our existence. But the paradoxes of consciousness don't stop there. We also encounter the concept of a conscious universe. This idea, which can be found in various philosophical traditions, posits that the universe itself might be conscious. In these traditions, consciousness is not confined to brains or even to life, but is a fundamental aspect of the universe itself. This concept also resonates with certain scientific theories. For instance, integrated information theory, proposed by neuroscientist Giulio Tononi, suggests that any system capable of integrating information, including the universe, could possess a degree of consciousness. Similarly, some interpretations of quantum mechanics suggest that consciousness might play a role in the collapse of the quantum wave function, a process that brings the fuzzy uncertainty of the quantum world into the defined reality we experience. If true, this would suggest that consciousness is not just a product of the universe, but an active participant in shaping it. However, these ideas are not without controversy. Many scientists remain skeptical of the idea that the universe or other non-living systems could possess consciousness. They argue that consciousness is a product of the complex computations performed by our brains, and without such a structure, consciousness cannot exist. Yet, others argue that we should not dismiss these ideas out of hand. Consciousness remains one of the great mysteries of science, and we are still far from understanding it fully. These paradoxes and theories, as outlandish as they may seem, push the boundaries of our thinking and open up new avenues of inquiry. While these ideas might seem far-fetched, they invite us to contemplate the nature of consciousness and its place in the universe. They challenge us to broaden our perspectives, to consider possibilities that at first glance might seem impossible. And in doing so, they bring us one step closer to unraveling the enigma that is consciousness. Is consciousness a fundamental aspect of reality? Donald Hoffman seems to think so. Cognitive scientist Donald Hoffman proposes a radical theory suggesting that the very fabric of the universe is stitched together with threads of consciousness. To grasp this, let's take a step back and think about the traditional view of consciousness. It's often seen as a byproduct, an emergent property of complex computation among brain neurons. But Hoffman flips this on its head, positing that consciousness is not a latecomer in the evolution of the universe, but rather the master of the ceremony itself. So, how does this interplay with the quantum world? Well, it's all about the observer effect. In quantum mechanics, the act of observation can change the outcome of an event. And if consciousness is the observer, it suggests an intimate dance between consciousness and the quantum world, a tango where the brain and subatomic particles twirl in unison. This theory is not without its empirical backing. Hoffman and his colleagues are developing mathematical models to describe this conscious universe and while it's in its early stages, the work is beginning to yield some fascinating insights. It's a challenging endeavor, no doubt, trying to quantify something as elusive as consciousness. But it's through these empirical research and collaborations that we inch closer to unraveling the mysteries of our existence. Of course, the theory has sparked controversies and drawn criticisms. Some argue that it's too radical, too unorthodox. It's a massive departure from the conventional materialist perspective, which holds that everything, including consciousness, arises from matter. Critics question the scientific validity of Hoffman's theory, demanding more empirical evidence. And they have a point. Theories need to stand the test of scientific scrutiny and rigorous testing. But even amidst these criticisms, Hoffman's theory holds a certain allure it's a bold reimagining of the nature of reality, one that places consciousness at the heart of the universe. It's a theory that invites us to question, to ponder, and to wonder. So where does this leave us? Well, it opens up a whole new vista for exploration. It invites interdisciplinary collaboration, merging the fields of cognitive science, quantum physics, 
and even philosophy. The implications are profound and far-reaching, stretching beyond the confines of our understanding. This theory, like any other, is a piece of a larger puzzle. It's a stepping stone, a part of our ceaseless pursuit to comprehend the enigma of consciousness. And as we delve deeper, we might find that the line between the observer and the observed, between us and the universe, blurs into a dance of cosmic proportions. So, is consciousness fundamental? Is the universe a symphony of conscious entities? These questions beckon us, and as we seek the answers, we embark on an exciting journey, a journey of exploration, discovery, and understanding. Remember, it's not about finding the definitive answer, but about asking the right questions. It's about the quest, the exploration, the thirst to understand more. And who knows, maybe in this cosmic dance, we'll find that consciousness is not merely a guest in the universe, but the choreographer of the cosmic ballet itself. Theories like these challenge our understanding of consciousness and open up new avenues for research. With great knowledge comes great responsibility. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of consciousness and the universe, we inevitably face a host of ethical considerations. These concerns echo throughout the scientific community and society at large, reminding us of the weighty responsibility we bear in our quest for knowledge. One of the most pressing ethical questions in studying consciousness revolves around the nature of consciousness itself. If consciousness is indeed a fundamental aspect of reality, as some theories suggest, it prompts us to reevaluate our treatment of not just humans, but all living beings. The potential for consciousness to exist beyond our species, or even beyond life as we understand it, could have profound implications for ethics and morality. But the ethical considerations don't stop there. As we continue to explore the similarities between the cosmic web and neural networks, we find ourselves on the precipice of a new frontier, the creation of conscious artificial intelligence. This topic is rife with ethical dilemmas. On one hand, the development of conscious AI could lead to unprecedented advances in technology, potentially revolutionizing everything from healthcare to space exploration. On the other hand, it raises serious questions about the rights and treatment of these potential new forms of consciousness. Could a conscious AI possess rights akin to human rights? What would be our obligations towards such an entity? Moreover, the creation of conscious AI could have far-reaching societal implications. If we were to imbue machines with consciousness, we'd need to grapple with the potential for misuse or exploitation. Could conscious AI be used in ways that harm humanity or the AI itself? And who would be responsible for regulating and overseeing these advanced systems? The complexity and magnitude of these ethical questions highlight the immense responsibility shouldered by scientists and society. Scientists bear the duty of conducting their research with integrity, respecting the potential consciousness they study or create. They must also engage in open, honest dialogue about the ethical implications of their work, fostering a culture of transparency and accountability. Society, too, plays a crucial role. As consumers and beneficiaries of scientific advancements, we all have a stake in these ethical debates. It's incumbent upon us to stay informed to question and to engage in these important conversations. We must also hold our institutions and leaders accountable, ensuring they prioritize ethical considerations in their decision-making. This shared responsibility underscores the interconnectedness of our quest for knowledge. Just as the universe and consciousness are intertwined, so too are the ethical considerations and responsibilities we face. We are all part of this cosmic journey, and we must navigate it with care, humility, and respect for all forms of consciousness. In our quest to understand consciousness, we must tread carefully considering the ethical implications of our actions. Our journey through the universe and consciousness has been a fascinating one. Indeed, it's been a mind-bending voyage through the vast cosmic web and the intricate neural networks that hum within our heads. But it's crucial to remember that the key to unlocking these mysteries lies in the rigors of scientific inquiry and critical thinking. Science is more than a collection of facts. It's a process, a methodology. It's an ongoing conversation that thrives on skepticism and the relentless pursuit of truth. 
It's about asking the right questions, testing hypotheses, and being ready to revise our understanding based on new evidence. This is how we make progress and move closer to the truth, always inching forward, always learning. And let's not forget the role of curiosity in this grand endeavor. It's curiosity that propels us into the uncharted territories of understanding the universe. It's curiosity that inspires us to delve into the complexities of consciousness. It's curiosity that fuels our explorations and propels us to confront the biggest questions of existence. As we've seen, there are startling parallels between the structures of the universe and those of the human brain. This interconnectedness is not just a fascinating coincidence, it's a profound insight into the nature of reality. It hints at a common architecture, a shared language of complexity and pattern that permeates everything, from the cosmic web to the neural networks in our brains. This interconnectedness extends beyond the physical realm. It suggests a deep, underlying unity, a cosmic harmony that transcends our individual existences. We are not separate from the universe, we are integral parts of it. We are not mere observers of the cosmos. We are active participants in its unfolding drama. So as we stand on the threshold of new discoveries, let's embrace the thrill of the unknown, the joy of exploration, and the sense of wonder that comes with unraveling the mysteries of existence. As we continue to explore the mysteries of the universe and consciousness, remember, we are all interconnected parts of this cosmic web. Before we wrap up, here's a quick reminder. If you enjoyed this journey through the universe and consciousness, don't forget to hit the like button. Your support helps us create more content like this. We also want to hear from you. Share your thoughts, insights, and theories in the comments section below. What did you find most fascinating? What questions do you still have? And don't forget, the exploration doesn't end here. Subscribe to our channel to join us on future voyages into the mysteries of the universe. Together we'll keep pushing the boundaries of knowledge and understanding. Thank you for joining us on this cosmic journey. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and never lose your sense of wonder.